Hello everyone and welcome to another BCL Trash Talk. My name is Vasiliki and on today's show we will have with us John Patrick, the head coach of uh, MEP Ludwigsburg. And uh, after that, for after the main event, we will have the head-to-head between Jos and Marco, who will talk about the game of the week between Ludwigsburg and Sassari. Well, first of all, we need to talk about some BCL news because, I mean, what a week it was. The game between Besiktas and Ritas Vilnius. This game... Everybody was assuming that Ritas Vilnius were going to walk into Istanbul and walk away with the victory. But it didn't go that way. There was a good support of the fans there that evening. And not to mention, it was a great, great shooting night from both teams. But it went into a double overtime. We don't see many double overtimes in the Basketball Champions League. But this was one of those games that went right down to the wire. But also, I'm very impressed with the new boys on the block. Nutribullet, Treviso, Marco. What can you tell us? I mean, they came up with a very big victory against Falco Sambavli. But what is it about this team and... What are their chances in the Basketball Champions League this season? Well, Treviso is a well-organized team. I mean, uh, they really know what to do, what are, which are their strengths, and they're pushing on them. So, for instance, they got Eddie Sims, that is maybe their main guy on the offense, and he's in the center. After, they got a uh, really lot of guards that can create and that can score. So they got a mix between uh, internal game and game on the perimeter. And among old men, uh, I think Bortolani is also having a strong season. He's one of the prospects of all the Italian basketball players and he's putting himself on notice, playing very well and also giving more points uh, next to uh, Russell, that is their main creator uh, with the ball in his hands. Vasiliki, I think the biggest moment for me as a fan, that's not to mention, I mean, I watch Basketball Champions League all the time, but the moment for me as a spectator was the Veferiga Ike moment. And I'm talking about Alexander Madsen going to the basket with no authority, no regard or empathy for the Ike defense, especially being guarded by Eric Griffin. You know what I'm talking about. What, what I mean, what was your take on that moment? Yeah, that was a pretty impressive, but not very good if you are from Greece, because yeah, we want all the Greek teams to win. And I get on a winning strike here on BCL, unlike the, other, the previous years. So I hope they turn things around. They have uh, three games left. Yeah, they got three uh, games I'm not left. Wrong. But I mean, yes. w- what is it with like this season? Because as you mentioned, every other year they've been a competitor, they've been a contender, they've been a champion. This is the, yeah. this is not like Ike that we've seen before. I mean, what do they need to do to turn this around? Yeah, basically they changed the whole roster. The only player that left from last season is uh, Mavridis, so everybody is new. Uh, they have some players that are more experienced, such as Papas or Kinokolo, and other guys that are uh, newbies or rookies, if you want, in this level of play, like Petropoulos or uh, other Greek guys. Uh, so I need mean, they they need more time in order to be a, a team that knows how to play and have like systems and stuff like that. Well, as you mentioned, it's going to be a tough turnaround for them. Only three games to go, but let's get ready for the main event. As our game of the week has been between MHP Reason Lovisberg and Dinamo Sassari. I'm about to meet with John Patrick and his two sons. Well, welcome now to the main event of the BCL Trash Talk podcast. And I'm here right now with the Patrick family of the amazing MHP Reason Ludwigsburg coach. Thank you for joining us here on the BCL Trash Talk. How are you doing? Thanks for having us. Doing fine. Doing fine. It's a Saturday afternoon here. We just played last night and we're getting ready to get on a plane for Sassari. Obviously, now it's a big, big time. I mean, it's great to have MHP Reason Lovisburg back in the Basketball Champions League. 2000, I think it was 19 was your last season, of course. But we're also here with your sons, who currently now are are your players at the moment. So, Johannes, how are you doing, my friend? Doing well. Thanks for having us. Brilliant. And Jacob, how are you doing? Oh, great. (laughs) Great. Now, I'm going to throw this question at the sons right away first, because, you know, I remember what it was like playing for my dad, you know, as a basketball coach. 
<laughs> Yo, what is the what is the what is the toughest part about playing for your father? I'll, I'll give this one to Johannes first. Um, I think I mean we, we're used to playing with our dad, um, him being our coach, and we ever since we played basketball, um, he was our coach, so we so we got used to it. And I mean, getting into the professional stage, you just you know need to recognize when it's you're just another player on the team and not uh, not the, the son. So it's not when you're in the gym and you like, can talk about basketball and what you can do better or what the, um, just in general what to do. It's also like uh, at home, and, you know. It's not just um, it's not just a coach like if it's your dad it's it's um you know you know it's he means best for you so it's it's easy to like to understand the criticism and take it yeah hey, coach you know i've seen you from the very beginning in the basketball champs league mhp reason lovers but you guys have a great fan base you got a great tradition over there 2018 you made it to that final four it's great to have you back but this time you're back with your sons, and I guess what is the best part about having the family on the basketball team in this season? Um, I mean, it's uh, I guess it's both positive and, and also challenging. It is great to be back in Champions League. Um, in 2018, my son Julian was our team manager, um, and now I have uh, two of our sons playing for me, and. Um, part of the team and uh, it is special it's special it's it's challenging because uh, I don't want to be soft on them even though I, I'd like to see them do well I'd like to see our team uh, improve and get better and, uh, and sometimes getting better is an uncomfortable process and sometimes I have to push people but um, we do have great team chemistry and uh, Johannes and Jake support the other guys and show them the ropes with uh, Ludwigsburg and, and our team rules and, and our other guys support them too. So it's nice to see them at such a young age uh, behaving like professionals and, and competing like professionals against guys like uh, Gentile and, and yeah, the uh, all the top guards that we've we faced so far, some with NBA experience, some a lot of national team players, and pretty much all international names. And it, it's great to see these guys mix it up and not be afraid, um, especially at such a young age. Now, Jacob, of course, your father just mentioned, you know, a key player there, Gentile. I know when you get on the court, what do you think is going to be, you know, your objective when you go up against a player such as Gentile for Sassari? You know, like, you're just more motivated to, like, play harder. Like, to, like, you think just to yourself, like, okay, I'm not going to let this guy score now on me. Like, it's it's more mo motivating. So, and also on offense, when a guy with a big name like that is guarding you you're like you want to score it's it pushes you more yeah and johannes of course you know you know when you talk about your role on the team obviously we've talked about how you know it's very it's a positive and also it's it's also like it's a a negative playing for your father at the same time but what would you say you know is your role on the team and what you would like it to become well of course being being a young player you have to you know work for you know every minute on the court or, or whatsoever so right now i see myself as you know, I, I try to bring positives to the team right like some fits in practice uh being on a scout team or be, being on the court you know annoying european star players or on the bench you know supporting i just want to have an, uh, have a positive impact then of, of course develop uh, as a player a coach, obviously, you're going up against Dinamo Sassari. They're very different this season. You know, they got some key players, David Logan, Anthony Clemens. They got some good Europeans as well. Imantis Benjus and, you know, Estonian player, Kasper Trier. What do you think is going to be the key focal point for MHP Reason Lugensburg going into this game? 
Well, uh, I think a key point is going to be not taking our foot off the gas. I, I've been really proud as a um, to see us, despite the injuries and sicknesses we've had. Not that other teams haven't had them, but we've been battered with some key guys that have that have missed games and. I've been proud how guys stepped up who maybe weren't uh, seen as, as main players and, and Jonah Radabao's development, but um, Sasori is going to be super hungry um, playing it, playing us at home. We had a good game here and um, we have a quick turnaround. They have a quick turnaround. So I think the key is going to be sharpness and freshness and and uh, which team jumps out on, on, onto the other team. And um, for sure, there's going to be a good crowd there. Um, played there a couple times before, and, and I'm looking forward to going to Sardinia. Well, it's definitely going to be an exciting game. It is the game of the week. And, like, you know, it's always great to have two teams that are regular teams that have been in the Basketball Champions League. Let's move over to Johannes now. I was watching Coach Carter last night. And, you know, how many aunties do you have? How many aunties? Yeah, how many how many sisters does your father have? Oh, two. Are any of the offenses named after your aunties? <laughs> no, not yet. No. Obviously, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. I, coach, it's great to have you guys back in the Basketball Champions League. And um, like I said, it's fantastic to see you coaching your sons. Johannes, Jacob, thank you for joining us. All the best, you guys, in the game of the week on Monday against Dinamo Cesare. Thanks. Great to be here. So now we're moving to the head-to-head -head part. From one side, Jos Bet. You all know who he is, of course. And from the other side, Marco Muno from Italy. If you don't know him, look him up on Twitter. Trust me. Uh, we will talk about the game of the week between Ludwigsburg and Dinamo Sassari. So, guys, each one of you will have 30 seconds to support one team and why you believe the team will win the game. So, when you're ready, I'll press the timer and you have 30 seconds to tell your opinion. You're cool? I think Marco should go first because he's the he's the rookie now. This is his rookie baby yes. on the BCL Trash Tour. Yeah, let, let's be polite. Yes. So, Marco, Thanks. are you ready? <laughs> yes. Uh, your time starts now. The season for Sassari is not progressing well, as for now, they're losing games in uh, the Italian League, they're losing games in DCL, but they need a reaction. So the standings are not really reflecting the value of the personnel in the roster, and they need to uh, hit the panic button and just start winning. So I think that will give them extra motivation for the game. Good, good. On time. Oh. Panic button. I like that. So you, I mean, I, I think that's true because I think when you've got nowhere else to go but down, essentially you're going back up. That's what you're saying about Dinamo Sorry, right, Marco? Yes, for sure. They really having uh, maybe a disappointing season given the value of players like Burnell, like Benzius, so of David Logan that is maybe he's aging but he's always so talented and they now have to uh you know give everything they've got to turn the season around and not to mention they haven't really got the best of casper Trey, the estonian international so i think you know for them it could be key but no i don't think they're going to win this one and i'm going to give you for 30 seconds vasiliki exactly why mhp Ries and lubersburg are going to win this game yeah you're a pro so go ahead just Oh, thank you. That's really kind. Okay, so just just let me know when my timer starts. <laughs> yeah, your time starts now. Okay, so as we know, like Dinamo Sassari, MHP Reason Lovisburg, they are an experienced team in the Basketball Champions League. Back in 2018, John Patrick defied all the odds and took them to the Final Four in Athens. They came up short, but then the season after that was very disappointing. They took a little hiatus from the Basketball Champions League, and now they're back. We're talking about one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the BCL, one of the best offensive teams. And not to mention, some of their American players are phenomenal. They've got Jonah Radebo in there. They've got Justin Simon. This team is on fire right now. They mean business this season in the Basketball Champions League. Marco, I've got to tell you, 
Banco de Sardinia Sassari for this game, they don't have a chance. Well, we will see. We will see. I really believe in their pride, so I'm just going with that pride uh, chapter. Boca Lupo. Speriamo bene. Ah, sì, but non possiamo parlare italiano, Alice, okay? Yeah, I don't speak any Italian at all, so if we can go back to England, that would be great. Thanks. Okay, anyway, so... Anyway, they were great words. Oh. Amis, ma femo? No, that means... Oh, it doesn't. Ego, ma femo, to Alenica? Yes, that's great. Okay. Is this... Uh, Vascola, mu? Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty close. Okay, so... Uh, ami, uh, ego, the, the verb ma- was missing. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Marco, we got to speak English. Sorry. We, we got, I got it wrong. Sorry. Anyway, listen, <laughs> this is the BCL Trash Talk. We thank you for joining us. The game of the week is going to be MHP Reason Lubbersburg versus Banco de Sardinia Sassari. Marco Muno, thank you so much for coming on. And thank you so much to my excellent co-host, Vasiliki Karamuza. Thanks for having us.